Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Medical Extreme. Today we, we are going to discuss about patella. So guys this is the patella and it is the largest sesamoid bone of body which develops in the tendon of quadricep femoris. This is the anterior view of patella and this is the posterior view. So the posterior surface articulates with the distal end of femur. This is how it articulates with anterior surface of both these condyles. First we are going to talk about the general features of patella. So the patella is triangular in shape and its lower part has apex which directed in inferior inferiorly and patella also has two surfaces this is the anterior surface of patella which is rough and non articular as you can see this surface is quite rough and if we talk about posterior surface which is smooth and articulates with distal end of femur as you can see it is quite smooth as compared to anterior surface and it also has a, a bulge portion which is known as the vertical ridge it separates posterior surface into larger lateral part and the smaller medial part apart from the surfaces patella also has three borders so this is the superior border of patella okay and uh, the border which lies towards the lateral part of posterior surface is known as lateral border and the border which lies towards the medial part of posterior surface is medial border. Next part we need to discuss is side determination. For better understanding guys I want you to assume this pen as a center line and this area is right side and uh, this area is left side and now uh, let's quickly discuss about the points which we gonna need to identify the side of bone the first one we have uh, is patella is triangular in shape so yes it is triangular in shape and its apex lies in inferior direction okay okay second point we have is anterior surface is quite rough so you can see it is quite rough and the posterior surface has a vertical ridge which separates it into larger lateral side and the smaller medial part so this must be the lateral border and this must be the medial border now i am assuming this bone is right side bone and i am putting this bone on the right side just to figure out the points that we discussed earlier are actually applicable to this bone or not so this larger area this must be the lateral part ideally it should lies laterally but here you can see this area lies toward the midline so this is not the ideal position so we just transfer the bone to this side and see if we can apply the points that we discussed so this larger area is lateral side and it lies laterally and the smaller area this is medial side which lies toward the midline so this is the ideal position which identifies the bone as left side bone next part we have is attachment so as you guys already know this sesamoid bone develops in the tendon of quadriceps femoris so obviously quadriceps take insertion on this bone and if you talk about the individual muscles of quadriceps group then superior border gives insertion to the rectus femoris in front and vastus intermedius behind this is the insertion of rectus femoris and this is the insertion of vastus intermedius if you talk about the lateral border okay it gives insertion to the vastus lateralis in its upper half surface and if we talk about medial border then it gives insertion to the vastus medialis in its upper two-third portion 
वेयर इज पोस्टीरियर सर्फेस ऑफ एपैक्स गिव प्रोक्सीमल अटैचमेंट टू द लेगामेंटम पेटले एंड डिजिटली लेगामेंटम पेटले अटैच टू द टिबियल ट्यूब्रोसिटी ऑफ टिबिया सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट पेटेला आई होप यू गाइज लाइक द वीडियो थैंक यू